Hi everyone, welcome back to Febrish Chick channel. My name is Arlene and today I'm going to share you stones, my story about stones, okay? It's all about stones, why I love stones, okay? And when did I start collecting stones? So if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Anyway, guys, I started to collect stones when I was grade one. Yes, when I was seven years old. Here's the story goes. When we're traveling to up country, you know, the bus that we took had problems because, uh, no, they said something wrong. Yeah, so have to stop. So all passengers in that car have to get off. And I also got off. And then, you know, there's a river banks. You see the river, very beautiful. But the river banks, I remembered a lot of stones. Then I saw black stone, very, very beautiful. It's perfect shape, it's round. And I showed it to my mom, okay, my mom. I said, Mama, Mama, look at this one. What is this? And then my mother said, Oh, that is a live stone. That one is alive. You know, I just, hey, why alive? Stones are non-living things. Mom said, take it. Okay, you have to keep it because that one is a live stone. You know, it's lucky stone. Then, I took it and put in my purse. And then guys, when the bus already okay, so they asked all the passengers to, all right, everybody, you have to get inside now. You have to get inside the bus. So when we're there, and then someone said, they said, we don't have to pay. My mom said, why? And then the old woman said, I paid already for you and for your daughter, you don't have to worry. I just like, oh, and then my mom looked at me. He said, like, see, very good. You don't have, we don't have, yeah, it's, it's someone paid for us, you know? So, wow, this stone is very lucky, really very lucky. And then when we are ready home, of course, the next day, I was so excited to go to school. Yes, I was so excited when I was young because I have to show to my friends. You know, that's the very normal, right? When we're kids, like, we want to, you know, like, show something to our friends, you know, like a show off. All right, so you're just like, hey, I want to tell to my friends that I found this kind of stone. My, my friend said, oh, really? Really, you found something? Oh, when I checked my bag, I couldn't find my stone anymore and it's gone, it's gone. So I couldn't find it and I was so depressed because say, where is my stone? It really gives me some energy, you know? It gives me good luck, it gives me something like, everything is very easy for me. So I was so depressed. Ah, yeah, and then I forgot one many years passed and then when I was grade six, when I was grade six, someone gave me another kind of stone it's brown black you know something like that it looks like tiger's eye yeah tiger's eye so when i look at it mm, you know unpolished unpolished tiger's eye and then when i put it in my hand you know my anxiety gone and you know what it absorbs like this this stone is really amazing yeah, I just like, wow. So I I brought that anywhere I go. But after two years, guys, it was gone. I, when I was year eight, I had crystals. You know, I love crystals. My father brought a lot of crystals at home. Yeah, so I really love crystals. You know, like um, these crystals we call, um, what is that? Just like this. What's it called? Sorry. Yeah, this one. It has some energy. I don't know, but you believe, maybe many people don't believe about stones too. 
but me i do believe because it's i experience it i i feel it the energy it really brings good luck you know and then this one as you can see yeah this one is also crystal i started collecting this one when i was high school so yeah before i had more than this you know i had clearer than these crystals i don't know where did i put my clear crystals really before it was very very clear but now as you can see it's not clear anymore yes and it's not it's not it's no longer transparent this one's also yeah i i keep this one for a long time yeah i always I cleanse this one every holy week i put it under the sunshine to clean you know me i have many collections but just like what i've said i i lost a lot i don't know where did i put and it's very clear transparent crystals but now look this one just like leftovers not beautiful anymore yeah it's no longer beautiful but i want to tell you that don't have to judge the the look or the beauty of this stone the most important is this one it can absorb it you know it can help you improve your life but i want to tell you that um like this one yeah it's not beautiful but you will feel the energy guys this one is authentic crystals this is from the cave it's a thousand years it takes time to form crystals right you know that and you know just it's for me it's precious i don't look i don't judge the 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 beauty of the crystals for me i feel it i know that it has energy i feel good yeah this is my experience about stone so i bought this one because i just like what i've said i love stones you see these are all our collections you see different kinds of stones we have um you know this one as you can see the white color it has number so it's number one number one is granite stone okay and this one this we call it basil yeah basil okay this one as you can see this one guys is ruby okay ruby ruby black spinel stone and guys very light this to my yeah this one is calcite and you see this one this is calcite this one is rose quartz as you can see the rose quartz is very good too right we're very, very lucky in everything the stone when you walk outside you can see this kind of stone right yeah but that stone that i found it's different it was different it's black it's round and i found i found it in the river banks yes no houses nearby so no people there you know no people living in that area but i found that thing and yeah i was so i was so lucky but when i was year six again uh, someone gave me the the stone the brown black stone uh rectangular shape and every time i put it in my hand it absorbs the the water in my hand i don't know i don't i don't know what's the name of that stone but it it also brought a lot of good things to me it looks like tiger's eye unpolished tiger's eye stone yeah it was very very nice and it, when i touch it i just feel good yeah and then when i was high school yeah when i was in year eight i lost it i couldn't find anymore but when i was in year eight my father introduced another kind of stone this stone is we call it crystal yeah he brought stone like this when i was in year eight i had a lot of crystals like this from the cave yeah my father said someone gave these crystals you know so 
yeah and then he showed them to us and then yeah it's very beautiful but you know i had a lot before but now as you can see not beautiful anymore it's no longer beautiful yeah i don't know i lost a lot of crystals too so this these are the crystals you know like leftovers and i don't know where are my crystals it's gone so yeah i love collecting stones because it's working what i mean it really work okay stones are amazing i feel it it has vibration when you feel it has vibration but the ordinary stone it has no value no vibration cannot help you anything Yes, but the stone, it has energy. I do believe gemstones, crystals, what else? Yeah, it has energy. So I started collecting this one, stones, since I was elementary. But this one, my children use this also, you know, for learning. They bought it from the, they bought from the bookstores. Yeah, they... But this one, as you can see, yeah, different types of stones. Stone like this, you see. Someone said, why you are collecting stones? Do you know that stone has no value? But I don't listen. I don't listen. They speak like that. They said no value. Why I'm keeping these stones like this? Because I feel it. It brings good luck to my life. It brings something to my life. And I I feel the the energy coming into coming in this one. Also look at the crystals. Yeah. It's nice. Feel good. Every time I see this one, this one is rutilite quartz and it has a lot of needles inside. Yeah, I love collecting stones. If you go outside and then you see the stone like this and then you buy immediately oh how much this one for example and then okay you use immediately guys that is not okay don't use immediately because a lot of people already touch that stone all the negatives already recorded inside it's already absorbed all the negative so when you wear it, you will feel heavy. You will feel like, hey, what, what happened to me? Why I feel unhappy? Why I feel down? It's because the stone that you are using is already loaded with negative. So it will affect your life and everything. It will like, it will come and will disturb you, you know? Like instead to be happy, you feel sad. It's because you are using the stone that has a lot of negative. So don't do that. You have to cleanse first. Put in the salty water and leave there for, for one day or for three days. Put it under the sunshine to get rid of all negative Yes, and then after that, you have to program. You cannot use immediately. What stone? That one is dangerous. When you see the stone outside, use immediately. Oh, I bought this one today. I will use immediately. This is stone. No, no, no. Don't, don't touch too. If you see someone using the stone bracelets, okay? You see someone, oh, your stone is so nice. Can I touch? Okay, your stone is so nice. For example, the one woman using the the stone bracelet can i touch it oh don't do that guys because the negative it will transfer to you so don't touch it and then guys don't let your stone touch by other person too yes so it might absorb the negative okay